every pony, I'm Master Code, your ace analyst, and today we'll be discussing issue number 30 of the Friends Forever series starring Twilight and Cadence. The Princess of Friendship is visiting the Crystal Empire to witness Cadence receiving an honorarium, which seems all well and good, until an incognito reconnaissance of the town leads her to believe that the town thinks of her as just the pretty princess. Cadence has always been the odd duck of the Alicorn Club, as she hasn't really had a lot of development in the series. Not to say she's a bad character, she's strong, courageous, generous, kind, and yes, beautiful, but we see that she has vulnerabilities, anxieties, and does possess some leadership skills. The problem is the show really hasn't evolved her character that much. Let me put it to you this way. If you compare her character from seasons 2 and 3 to season 9, there really isn't that much difference. But I digress back to the comic itself. As I said, we see the two perusing the various vendors and every time there's a product involving her and the other princesses, it diminishes her self-worth as she's basically being labeled as a princess who just smiles and waves without responsibility, which honestly makes these scenes both hilarious and devastating. Her doubts about herself begin to weigh on her physically, losing sleep and affecting her cognitive thinking. In the past, we've seen her deal with anxiety of some big baddie attacking or the economic growth of her kingdom, like with the Equestria Games. This is the first time we've seen her at this vulnerable estate to the point of identity crisis, realizing that if her subjects can't respect her as a leader, she can't respect herself, driving herself down to the point where even she considers stepping down from the throne. What also makes this conflict work is the fact that Cadence is paired with Twilight in this comic. Twilight, the princess of friendship that was thrust into a great responsibility, as during the events of season 4, especially Twilight's kingdom, she herself went through her own identity crisis of what it means to be a princess. So going through that experience, she knows what Cadence is going through and is able to console her. Despite Twilight's efforts, though, things get worse, as dispute hearings are held in the throne room, but unfortunately, they turn out just to be trivial problems, further reinforcing her depression believing that a pretty princess has nothing better to do than to look, well, pretty and solve menial problems. It's also at this point, I have some contention with this comic. Up until this point, the audience feels sympathy toward Cadence's plight, as it is devastating when you feel every pony around you has lost respect for you. However, this is the comic's opportunity to really make a name for the pink alicorn, progress her character so much more, but on the day of the ceremony, Cadence has given up and is about ready to leave the throne. I wanted to see her overcome these doubts and see some real growth for her. The other problem I have is, as Cadence laments, it's Twilight who has to remind her that she is the beacon of light that inspires positivity in every pony around her. She had to be told this rather than look inwardly and figure it out for herself. The comic was actually doing pretty good two thirds of the way through and it's this ending where everything falls apart. We have Garboska and Perry as our artists, and this is the first time we've seen the Crystal Ponies, and the effect is pretty good. The gradients and the line work give an exaggerated 3D look, giving the ponies much more contrast and depth, and the sparkles everywhere are also a nice touch. Though I'm not a fan of Garboska's overuse of blue hues, as in many of the exterior scenes, it makes the backgrounds and the sky look toxic and foggy. It's kind of distracting. Otherwise, the art is par for the course for these two, and not much else to say on that aspect. In the end, while the comic does a lot of things right, it doesn't reach its full potential, falling short at the end, just giving a lackluster happy ending. Cadence had the opportunity to be elevated being a star in her own story, yet because the comic does most of the story right, I will say it's still okay on its own merits despite my criticisms. Well, that's it for today, guys. Until next time, MC!